Many patients experience some pain after surgery. Your anesthesiologist can play a critical role in reducing and managing that pain. So it's a good idea to talk to your anesthesiologist about options. One option is an opioid medication. These work by binding opioid receptors in the body, which reduce the sensation of pain. They are an important class of pain-relieving medications. However, opioids also carry serious risks of addiction and overdose, especially with prolonged use. In 2016, CDC released recommendations stating long-term opioid use often begins with treatment of acute pain. When opioids are used for acute pain, you should use the lowest effective dose for the expected duration of pain severe enough to require opioids. Three days or less will often be sufficient. More than seven days will rarely be needed. Commonly prescribed opioids are Norco, Percocet, Ultram, Hydrocodone, Oxycodone, and Tramadol. Opioids can have a number of side effects as well, even when taken as directed. Confusion, sleepiness and dizziness, itching, nausea or vomiting, constipation, tolerance, meaning you might need to take more of a medication for the same pain relief, physical dependence, meaning you have symptoms of withdrawal when a medication is stopped, addiction, meaning you develop cravings for opioids which negatively impact your behavior, emotions, and relationships. An overdose of opioids can cause slowed breathing and even cause sudden death. Factors that increase risk for opioid overdose include history of drug misuse, substance use disorder or overdose, long-term or high-dose opioid use, and mental health conditions such as depression or anxiety. Avoid taking benzodiazepines or drinking alcohol while taking prescription opioids. If you have risk factors for an opioid overdose, your anesthesiologist may recommend that you and your family have access to naloxone for an emergency. Naloxone is available at most pharmacies and can be life-saving in the event of an accidental opioid overdose. In the event of an opioid overdose, call 911 and follow instructions for naloxone administration. Talk to your anesthesiologist about ways to manage your pain that don't involve opioids. Some options that may actually work better and have fewer risks and side effects include acetaminophen and non-steroidal medications, ibuprofen or naproxen, epidural or spinal anesthesia, local anesthetic nerve blocks and regional anesthetic nerve catheters, neuropathic medications such as gabapentin or pregabalin, intravenous ketamine infusion, lidocaine patches, antidepressant medications, physical therapy and structure exercise programs, cognitive behavioral therapy, mindfulness meditation, counseling and pastoral care, and music therapy. If you are prescribed opioids, never take opioids in greater amounts or more often than prescribed. Never sell or share prescription opioids. Store prescription opioids in a secure place and out of reach of others such as visitors, children, friends, and family. Safely dispose of unused prescription opioids. Either find your community drug take-back program or your pharmacy mail-back program or flush them down the toilet. If you believe you may be struggling with addiction, tell your healthcare provider and ask for guidance. Or call SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP.